everyone, it's Ryan here with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues. Well, it's a beautiful spring day here in Gilbert and we have a really fun cook for you guys today. Today we're gonna to be doing a leg of lamb on the rotisserie on a Napoleon Prestige 500 grill. We're also gonna utilize some really neat grilling accessories that really helps you maximize your at-home grilling experience. These accessories are gonna be used today to do some asparagus on the infrared sear zone on the Napoleon grill. And we're even gonna drop in the Napoleon charcoal insert and cook some red skin potatoes over the charcoal using an herb grilling grid. Sounds wild, right? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it all at home. It's gonna be great. The accessories we're gonna be using today is the Napoleon smoker tube. Now the smoke tube is really neat because it allows you to put wood chips inside your grill and get that smoke flavor that you would get normally on like a charcoal or wood fired grill using your own gas grill. Today we're going to load this with cherry wood chips for our lamb. We soak the cherry chips for about a half an hour or so. It's going to add a really nice smoke flavor to this lamb. All right, so we got our smoke tube loaded with our cherry wood chips. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this over one of the gas burners on the grill. We're gonna have that burner on high initially. In about 10 minutes, we're gonna get a really nice smoke flavor. All right, so we have our smoke tube on the grill now. That's gonna take about 10 or 15 minutes to get smoking. So while that's smoking, we're gonna prep the lamb. With this lamb, we marinated it for 24 hours in a marinade that consisted of garlic, onion, honey, pepper, salt, cayenne, curry, and water. Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can prepare your lamb, a lot of different marinades out there, so give it a shot, try ours, use your own, however you wanna do it, it's gonna come out fantastic. With a leg of lamb, there is a netting when you purchase it from the store that helps kind of keep everything together. Now we cut the netting off because if you do that, you could season more of the lamb. So it's a nice way to apply a nice even seasoning to it. The only thing you have to do separate is if you are gonna do that and you are gonna use it on the rotisserie, you're gonna have to tie it with some twine. So we're gonna start there and then we'll get it on the rotisserie and get it cooking. All right, so we got our twine on, just cutting off the uh, tips here. I use six pieces of twine on here, got it wrapped really good. As this meat starts to cook, it's gonna shrink down a little bit. So we wanna make sure everything stays together. All right, we got the twine wrapped around the lamb. Let's get it on the spit rod. First thing you're gonna do, is run one of these forks through here. I wanna tighten that up all the way, but a little bit. We're gonna run this rod right through the center of the lamb. Spear on the rod is really sharp, so it's gonna come all the way through the other side there and then you just wanna center the lamb on the rod. We're gonna take our other fork here and then get that really nice and tight. And then once your forks are in the meat, you'll tighten up the bracket onto the rod. All right, let's get this on the motor. All right, so you simply just take the rod, slide it into the little crevice in the rotisserie motor we got that centered pretty good. We're starting to get a little bit of smoke from that smoke box. That's just gonna get a little bit more intense as we cook this here. But now we're gonna turn on the back burner for the rotisserie. The last step, let's turn that motor on and watch her go. We're gonna check back on this thing in about 45 minutes. All right, so we're about an hour in on this cook right now. Let's check it out. We wanna see what the temperature's riding at. We're also gonna baste it with some of that marinade. So let's take a look. Oh yeah, we're getting some of that nice caramelization right now. Seeing some of that fat starting to render a little bit on this. It's coming along nicely. I'm gonna stop the motor now. Let's see where we're riding here temperature wise. So about 106 degrees right now. The target temp on this is gonna be closer to 135, 140. So we still got about another 35, 40 minutes to go till this thing's gonna be ready, but it's coming along really well. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna baste it with that delicious marinade. Guys, the aromas coming from this are out of bounds. Unbelievable. So I'm gonna turn this back on, let it kind of rotate here. And we're just gonna take our marinade, give that a good coat of flavor there, help keep the juices preserved. All right, so we gave this a nice base, so that's doing really well. You'll notice we did put a pan underneath to catch some of those juices and drippings. It just helps to keep things clean, adds a little bit more flavor throughout too. Um, on the rotisserie back burner here, temperature wise, we had that on about a medium, medium high. Um, so you just ride with that throughout the whole cook on this. It's gonna give you that nice caramelization that you're seeing on the lamb here. So we're gonna come back, check up on this in about a half hour or so and see where we're at. 
So you want, for a good medium rare, about 135 degrees. We're at about 131, 132 there in the center. So that's just gonna uh, continue to cook while it rests and get us that nice medium rare. So we get to the outside, looks like it's cooked a little bit more closer to the 140, which is still rock solid on the outside. This should cut up really nice, let's get this off. Right, so getting this off is really simple. Just grab the rod here, pull out, and we're gonna transfer it right over to our cutting board here. Wow, some beautiful caramelization on this piece of meat right here. You can just see some of the juices starting to come to the top. This is gorgeous. The aromas are so outstanding on this. Getting that garlic coming through, hints of that honey. This is gonna be unbelievable, guys. All right, that lamb looks beautiful, but we're gonna want that to rest before cutting into it. You want those juices to redistribute. Also, you want to continue cooking a little bit more. So while that's resting, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the grill to cook the smashed red skin potatoes. Now, what's neat about the Napoleon grills is they have a charcoal insert that you could drop inside and use the gas burners to light. So it's really neat. So we're gonna set that up right now and cook those red skins over charcoal. All right, so set this up for our charcoal insert. We're gonna remove the main cooking grate, and then we're also gonna remove the flavor shields that rest over the burners. All right, so the grates and the vaporizers are removed. So now, this is just gonna drop right into place. All right, so once that tray's in place, I'm just gonna take our charcoal, fill that tray. So now the easiest part is really just getting the charcoal lit. So all you're gonna do is turn on your two main burners here, and we're gonna allow the flame from the gas to light the charcoal. All right, we got our charcoal getting lit behind us now, so we're gonna prepare our smashed red skin potatoes. You may be wondering how the heck you do a smashed red skin potato. Well, the best way to do it is by using this herb grilling grid that we sell here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna boil these potatoes beforehand, get them nice and soft, and then you're gonna put them in the uh, refrigerator, let them cool down a little bit, put them in your grid. You could smash them really right when you set them in the grid and then season them. That's what we're gonna do today. So we already smashed our potatoes here. We're just gonna take a little bit of olive oil. All right, then we're just gonna do a little bit of salt here. And then a little bit of pepper. All right, so these things are prepped and our charcoal is definitely lit and ready to go. So all you have to do is take the grid here and place it directly over your cooking area. All right, so those are on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in about a couple minutes or so, give that a flip. At that point, there should be a nice little sear on there, nice little char on those potatoes, and then they should be done. All right, so these have been on for a couple minutes. Let's take a look and see what kind of color we got on the one side. So we just give that a flip. Oh, that is magic right there. Look at that amazing caramelization, a little bit of char on these. Yeah, these are gonna be amazing. All right, so these have been riding on the second side now for a little over two minutes. I'm gonna take a look and make sure we got that good caramelization we got on the first side. I don't know, looks pretty good to me. Say these are done. All right, let's see how we did with this herb grilling grid here. Just got a little flap in the top. Just open that up. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. Some good caramelization. These are gonna complement that lamb very nicely. All right, now the last step to this amazing meal we're putting together right now is just to sear some asparagus on the infrared sear zone on the Napoleon Prestige 500 grill. It's gonna take about a minute to get these all seared up. All right, let's get this on this sear zone. These Napoleon sear zones get up over 1800 degrees. So this Asparagus is gonna cook very quickly. All right, so these have only been on for about a minute. It's about all it takes. We're gonna give them a roll. Oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna give you that really good crisp, a good char. All right, so these babies are done. They've been on just for about a couple minutes, but you can see just the beautiful char to these. It's gonna be a really nice, crisp piece of asparagus with some really Really awesome flavor, just beautiful. All right guys, well we have put together a fantastic feast today. This leg of lamb smells unbelievable. The aromas that I'm getting from this are just outstanding. So before we put our plate together, we gotta cut into this, see how this turned out. I gotta taste it first. Oh, this knife's just going through just like butter. Look at that. You can just see the juices just oozing from this piece of meat here. 
Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. You got some of that fat interlaced in there. Look at the juices just oozing from that. So tender too. Just falls apart. All right, well, let's give this a shot. Mm. That's really nice. Super tender. I got some really good flavors all the way through from that marinade. A little bit of smokiness, a hint of the smokiness from the cherry wood, which is a really nice touch on this. Some sweetness coming through on it. This is beautiful. This is gonna be a great dish to cook during the springtime. Mm. All right, guys, well, we made quite the feast today, all using the Napoleon Grill and some of the awesome accessories that we carry here at Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues. This lamb came out unbelievable. The nice char on the potatoes, a good compliment to it. You got some really good asparagus to go along with it as well. Guys, this was an outstanding meal. Really easy to create, too, on the grill. Definitely something that you guys could do in the backyard. It's a great springtime recipe here. So I hope you guys enjoyed as much as we did here. Well, that springtime meal sure was delicious. If you guys liked that video, then hit that like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more barbecue tips and tricks. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, where indoor comfort meets outdoor entertaining.